Hi. Welcome back. And uh, today it's about the revenue. Again, the revenue because, you know, business means that you do whatever you do for financial reward. And um, the recent uh, survey that I sent out to the newsletter subscribers showed that many people wish for more satisfaction with what do they get back for their product? And, uh, and I like to say, you know, a few things. The first, I like that you are happy, right? I like that you are satisfied with, with what you are putting out and satisfied what you are getting back. And uh, it, it starts with, um, your decision, how much would you like to get from your product? And, uh, and th then not sell it for, for less because that's where, your, where, where the disagreement is, where your dissatisfaction comes. And, um, and of course you want to sell. For that reason, it's crucial to have product suite, to have a product that will satisfy the need of the client who likes to have your work, where you are happy with the price. That means you need to create product that takes less time, number one. And uh, still is the original and has the specialty in it and your message. But you, you need to really look at what you are doing, why you are doing that. That's number one. And then how you get to where you want to be. So number one is basically really a not, not throw out your work with a feeling you do not get what you want. You will have more satisfaction if you, if you donate your work to, to a charity and they will auction it off for the value that you actually uh, see as appropriate. Well, speaking from my own experience, I, I did it several times. So if you are not, not in the silk painting, art for money, then don't worry about and, uh, and, and do it just for, for charity purposes. And, and if you are in for money, then you need to spend time on how to get there, how to align the, your worth of product that you see and the client that will pay it. So if you are selling for, for less than you think it's worth, then you are selling to the wrong client. You need to look for the client who will buy that product. Go online and, and you know, look for, for products that sell at the range where you see your product and see what these people are doing and how they are selling. So, and, and make a profile of your client. Who is the person? Where does she or he, where does she shop? What does she wear? If she, you know, um, a few days ago, I had a client here and, uh, and she had a beautiful hairdo. And I said, well, amazing. I love your hair. And she said, well, it better bill be because it was $240. And we are here up, you know, Wild West. So that price is quite, say, 
two and a half times higher what uh, she was expecting and I would expect. There was no perm or anything. So then I'm coming back to the silk scarves. You know, I know nails, to have nails done, here it's $80. And how long, you know, think about it. Think, you need to establish the value of your product in your head. So you can stand and know why you are charging what you are charging. And if the client is the one who spends, you know, $150 every three weeks or two weeks or four weeks on the hair and, um, and $100 on the nails and, and $300 on the shoes, then, then it's more likely that this is the client that will love your work and, um, and see the specialty. You need to put the unique selling proposition and the message in there and whatever we were talking in, in the online course. But um, start with thinking of the value of your work and where is the client that actually would appreciate it and pay you what you really deserve. So this should be your task. Make the profile of your ideal client. Look up online where these people are, where they shop, you know where, where are they. If you are in a city, you can quickly figure out where these people shop. And, and focus on these, these folks, okay? Then you will have more satisfaction because, you know, what you do should be satisfying. This is my, my main purpose is to move people to the place where they do what feels good and makes them, make them feel satisfied with their day life, every day, every minute, every action they take. So have fun, but think about it, okay? Take care. Bye.